Welcome to Single Moms Club. Um, I know that not a lot of people like to talk about these issues, but you know, yeah, it's Valentine's around the corner, and you wanna be cuddled up with your special other. It's cool. And it's all good, but um, when you're in a relationship and you feel like something is not right, most of the time. You are correct, it's not right. Somebody is cheating. Now, um, there I have eight signs to tell you if your man is cheating. Because, I mean, sometimes, most of the time, we know when something's not right in a relationship. And, you know, I, I don't like to be the bearer of bad news. I mean, if somebody had told me that these, okay, if you see these things, check them off. Chances are that person is cheating. Then I would have been cool. Knew that what I was thinking was correct. So here we go. The first one. If they normally do certain things, like they normally, um, Come home right after work, and then all of a sudden, they are out with their friends and going to uh, parties and all these things, and they never used to do that. Chances are, a young man is cheating. Okay? That's uh, red flag number uno, number one. Number two. Um... They always say, like, when you tell, when you ask them, um, that person that you talk to, and then it's a female, and then they said that that person is like a sister to me. Chances are, his ass is cheating. Um, that's red flag number two. Anytime when a man says that she's like a sister to me, no. Mm -mm. Don't play that mess. Don't fall for it, ladies. He is not. She's not a sis, uh, like a sister. She does not look like your sister, so she's not your sister. Um. Number three, when they tell you that they're too busy to cheat, <laughs> that's what every man always says. Oh, sweetie, I'm too busy to cheat. Oh. You come up with the most craziest things. A oh, year right. His ass is cheating. Too busy. When a man wants something, he will find a way to get it. So when he says that he's not cheating because he's too busy, <laughs> don't fall for that. They will find a way. Even if they're busy at work, they will <laughs> do it on their uh their uh their break. Okay? So don't fall for that one, ladies. Um, number four, multiple email accounts. If you find out that your man has four or five, four or five, six um, email accounts that you never knew of, chances are he's cheating. He's communicating by email because he knows that you're gonna check his phone, check Facebook, check um, his uh, uh, Twitter account, check all those kind of social medias, and. Sometimes you don't think that you're going to find out that he has other email addresses. Chances are, your man is cheating. Alright, number five. All of a sudden, um, he had, he, he, all of a sudden he becomes this health buff. He's going to the gym, getting his pecs up and all that stuff. And when you guys met, he wasn't talking about getting fit and keeping fit. Chances are, your man is cheating. If he's all of a sudden, oh, I need to go work out. Chances are, he's cheating. All right. When he, number six, when he starts picking fights over foolishness, the simplest things sets him off. Chances are, your man is cheating. Because they always try to, um, do arguments so that they can just walk out of the house and go to the other person that they're 
cheating, but so, look out for that, ladies. Number seven, the excuses. They make excuses why they um, don't want to have um, intimate relations. They make excuses. Oh, I'm so tired. Oh, I had a long day today. Oh, my foot, my back, my neck. Oh, it hurts. Oh, excuse after excuse. A yeah, man is probably cheating. No man refuses sex. <laughs> they don't refuse it. So when he really refusing it, chances are your man is cheating. Okay, number eight. Not wanting to take you out anymore. You notice that um, you want to go out. And every time he's making excuses, like, um, baby, I will go out next week. Next week comes, oh, I forgot. The chances are he, he he's cheating. He don't want to, um, meet up with that other person. You don't want the other person to see who he's taking out and all that stuff. So, and when you get your hair done, you get your hair done, your nails, Put on your sexy uh, lingerie and he doesn't say nothing to you, he doesn't look twice. Chances are he's cheating. Or a bonus number nine if um, he doesn't want to sleep in the bedroom anymore, he wants to go sleep on the couch. Chances are your man is cheating, ladies, gentlemen. No, well, mostly it's for ladies, ladies. We know these things that certain things that we normally get accustomed to and when he's not doing that anymore chances are he's cheating well <laughs> um i don't want to be the bearer of my news i never want to be the bearer of my news but sometimes like women need to realize that these things are happening and don't let the man tell you oh you're crazy no you're not you know that something is not right and you know you're trying to figure it out but have a conversation with him if it's worth if it's worth working out you will have a conversation with him and both of you will work it out but if it's something that has gone way past it then it's time to say bye bye maybe in the future he will be more mature or be able to commit to you how you want to be committed to and not worry about the cheating and stuff because certain times men are not ready to settle down but they need to let the other woman they need to let the woman know that they are not um, in this stage of committing or they're not ready to commit to one person let your partner know what your intentions are so that they can decide for themselves if that's what they if that's what they want to do, if they want to work it out or just part ways. Okay, ladies, so I know it's a hard topic and nobody likes to talk about it, but yeah. All right, well, have a good night.